welcome back to my channel. So today I'm basically going to be showing you how I organize my binder and yeah that's pretty much what this video is going to be on. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been posting lately. I actually just recently got a new camera which is what I'm filming with and I haven't figured it out completely yet but it is the Canon Rebel T5i camera and so far I really like it so yeah anyway we're just going to jump right in let's go okay so I will be using my AP statistics binder for this video because it's my most organized binder and yet it's still not that great but um I have one of these like cheap ish binders you can find at like Walmart or Target wherever you get your like school supplies and I think it's an Avery I'm not really sure I took off like the stickers and stuff but yeah and I'm pretty sure it's like a two inch or a one and a half I don't know that kind of looks more like one and a half but yeah when you open my binder it has dividers and there's like these cheap ones I think I paid two dollars for these and then on this side it's whatever notes I'm working on for that week and then behind this first divider are my like warm-up type things and I keep them all right here it's basically what we do right when we get into class to like give us a warm-up before we actually begin taking notes and stuff and then the next one are all my notes and we basically, we usually do like these fill in the blank notes, but sometimes we have to write them all down, so that's what I do here. And then the next tab is like little things we're working on in class that I need to like look at a lot more than anything else. And the next one, it's mostly uh, graded assignments and stuff, so that's what's in here. And then the next one, it's just blank paper that I keep with me at all times in case I need it. So, yep. So that's basically all I do to keep my binder pretty much organized and stuff. I don't really do much. Just enough, like the bare minimum, to like know where everything is and be able to like pull it out when I need it. So not too much. Dividers are pretty cheap because, I mean, they're only going to last a year anyway. And the, I don't spend too much money on my binders either because, again... I'm only going to use it for that year, so there's really no point in me um, spending like $12 on a binder. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time I post. Bye!